all thanks to hamburger, I now have a shiny new badge. Wait, this isn't shiny. Now it's shiny. I will probably be starting out most of my recording sessions shining up any badges I have obtained because I am obsessive about that. But with this new badge in hand, it's time to explore places I have been unable to explore in the past. But first I get run into by Okusan. Oops, wait up, you got a gym badge, huh? Turn a city is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't get there or can't go there without a bicycle. Our movie team battle and was <sighs> Okay, really errors go away. I made team battle and toughened them up, so it wasn't a waste. So, I went back to Jubilee City. Next up, the Eternal's er, Eternal Gym Badge. Ten, ten seconds before I dash. Nine. Bah! Who's got time to count? So, there we go. In case we didn't know where to go from there. But I do know. I can now use Rock Smash! get through here. Also, I can still encounter wild Pokemon. Even though it means I'm going to end up having grind later, I'm just gonna run away from these battles. So there's a few things I can do in here right away. There's some things that I will need to come back to. But for now, I can say come down here and get this, which is TM70 Flash, used to be HMO5, no longer. Pretty sure right in there is a hidden item, but I can't get there without Surf. And now that that's out of the way, there's a bunch of breakable rocks. Now this game's just taunting me. Oh, leave me alone. So with all of these breakable rocks, there's also a spot here that you can jump over with your bicycle if you have one. I do not. <sighs> no, go away. Shoo, I'm not interested in fighting right now. I'm here for loot and that is it. Thank you. Nice big pearl. I'll take that. Yes, break it open. Get out the way, you. Just like that. And I don't think you need to watch me go all the way back to Jubilife City, so I shall meet you there. As soon as you enter town. Looker, tell me, have you not obtained a pal pad? It's not a pal pad free to anyone visiting the Pokemon Center's basement. I haven't been to the Pokemon Center's basement yet. Anyway, there appears to be no one shady in this jubilee city. I shall therefore take my investigation elsewhere. But my friend, I suggest you remain vigilant and for shit. Like you? You're a pretty shady grown up yourself, dude. Anyway, he said something about the basement of the Pokemon Center. So let's go there. Oh, right this way, please. Glad to meet you, Tila? Guide to Pokemon Wi-Fi Club, something I will never be using. But I get a free key item, so why the hell not? Yep, yep, yep. I got it. Thanks, lady. I now have the thing. 
and my Pokemon did not get hurt on my way here. Also, I remembered I had not yet come this way when I was exploring town. The global terminal terminal lets you travel the whole world. Connect with new friends, blah blah blah. I don't think you can even come in here without a single gym badge, so I'm gonna kind of look around and talk to people, see if there's anything useful in here. There was no one in there worth talking to. How about this kid? What type of Pokemon I like? Well, I like grass types, but I have a water type, so I'm gonna answer that. Um, thanks? That was completely useless to me. Um, is there really nothing back here? Seems like a perfect spot for there to be like a hidden item or something. Okay, whatever. So yeah, you can trade Pokemon around the world through that thing. I am on an emulator, so that's pretty freaking useless to me. Also, I've never used it before, and I went one too far. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's an excuse me NPC. There's an important battle up here. So Looker was just saying there weren't any shady people in this town, and yet we've got two of them right here. No, 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 no. I think I put in a few too many nows. Professor Rowan, you must comply. And for all your research findings, for free, naturally, failure to comply will result in a painful time for your assistant. So, give us your stuff or we're gonna beat up your little kid here. How's the Pokedex progressing? Oh yeah, and you have a gym badge. But hadn't I given you your first Pokemon only recently? Yeah, about that. It's already evolved. Perhaps being a trainer is like second nature to you. I've been at this for quite a few years, dude. And now they're getting angry that they're being ignored. Quiet, you lot. Why must you be such a nuisance? I have some lessons you still need to learn. One, don't loiter about for no good reason. Two, don't interrupt others while they are attempting to converse. Three, if you don't get your way, don't raise your voice to be intimidating. Four, don't think you've grown strong just because you're an herb. Five, what is with those outlandish outfits you have? You tell them, old man. Call yourselves adults. You kids don't grow up to be like these sorry specimens. Uh oh. And now they're angry. Team Galactic is what they call themselves. Give these thugs a lesson civility, please. Hey, hey, Willow, I'm gonna be useful to you. And so just like that, we get to have a nice double battle with Lucas. So the enemy likes using Dark-type Pokémon, namely Glemmeow, which is purely dark, and Stunky, which is a dark poison type. Right now, and like this, they aren't too bad. Their evolutions, however, are a pain in the butt. Um, hmm. Xavier has a nice fighting-type move, so let's get him in on this. This is also how we get Chimchar into our Pokedex. Well, Chimchar and its evolutions. Alright. Let's beat the crap out of Stunky, because I don't want to get poisoned. I don't remember if it has poison type moves or not. Ah, good. He's attacking Stunky too. Smash the crap out of it! Hmm, that's weird. I thought Stunky was dark type. Maybe that's only when it evolves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just die already, you little Stunky. There we go! Next! Oh, first to level up, I suppose. Cool, cool. Let's get rid of Glammeow now. Would you stop attacking me? Attack the Chimchar. Chimchar is not a life or death 
battling challenge thing. Well, anyway, Glemio is now dead. And we've defeated both Galactic Grunts. Two of them lost to a pair of children, and now they must retreat. We have no option, we'll treat for now. Blah blah blah, Team Galactic, we are awesome. They call themselves Team Galactic, so I noticed. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that it's a mystic power far beyond our control. I don't know. I seem to remember two generations ago when, when Team Rocket forced a Magikarp to evolve into a Gyarados. Studying the power's potential. They want to know if it can be used as energy for something. Hey, hey, Willow, did, did you know about this? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon, too. Can you believe that? A Pokemon professor studying Pokemon evolution? 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. No shit. Maybe that's the reason these goons tried to take the professor's re research data. Kid, you're not telling me anything. You can relax now. Still, thanks to you two, nothing came of that situation. I appreciate that. Incidentally, Willow, kudos to you for your battling skill. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get all the gym badges, because what else is there to do in these games besides, you know, the contests, which are... <laughs> They'll encounter lots of Pokemon. Fill your Pokedex up. In other words, it will be of great help to my research. So basically there's two things to do in this game. Fill the Pokedex and get all the badges. Blah blah blah, free to do with them what you will, take care now. So ah, who the fuck? Oh yeah, that's right. Nicely done, truly excellent. Jubilife TV. Blah blah blah, fashion case. Speaking of contests. Got a whole spectrum of chic accessories and tasteful backdrops. Dress up your Pokemon and watch their appeal grow. Prizes, blah blah blah. I might show what those are like later, but they get pretty strange, so I will definitely not be completing them. But while um, Getting the gym badges and filling out the Pokedex has always been a thing in these games. The Pokedex part works a little differently in Platinum, Diamond, and Pearl, and I'll get into that later. Hi hi, I'm the president of the Pokech Company. Hi hi, your patience is rewarded. I've developed a new Pokete or Pokech app. Memo pad. So every time you get a gym badge, you'll also get a new app from this guy for free. So the memo pad. The memo pad is just a place where you can kind of write stuff down. Yeah. I don't really get it. I mean, if I wanted to write something down, since I'm, you know, on a computer, I can just write it down, like, over here. And if I wasn't on a computer, I could have, I don't know, a piece of paper next to me, or some other thing, but whatever. 